Welcome back to the Colorado Trail, day 20. The day 20 question is, are hiking poles or trekking poles required on a through hike? Well, the short answer is no. <laughs> they are not required on any hike or through hike. However, if you do use them, they serve many purposes. First and foremost, they help with balance. If you're, let's say, on a rocky terrain, or you're near a sheer drop-off cliff, or maybe you're trying to cross a stream or a river by hiking across a log, uh, that the trekking poles can help with balance in those situations, or any situation. Also, they provide a little bit of an upper body workout as you're striking the ground and pushing yourself forward a little bit. If you're going uphill, your downward force with your arm actually takes a little bit of relief off of your lower extremities. Also, when you're going downhill, using the trekking poles to arrest your downward motion also helps your lower extremities. So um, there's a little bit of physics involved in using these trekking poles. Uh, finally, if you are using trekking poles, sometimes they can be used to prop up your tents. Many tents that are out there on the market now require you to use a trekking pole uh, where it wraps around, let's say, the handle or maybe you use the, the bottom part to uh, go into a little hole to prop up uh, part of the tent. Uh, yes, trekking poles can also be used um, for your campsite. I <clears throat> excuse me, was using a retractable trekking pole and use them obviously for hiking, but then my tent also required trekking poles to, to pitch the tent and prop it up. So there are many advantages of using trekking poles, and most of the people I saw out on the Colorado Trail were using trekking poles. However, there were a few that decided not to. They just liked the, the free flow of their arms. So it's a personal choice, and especially if your tent doesn't require uh, trekking poles, then you might not want them. So again, it comes down to personal preference. Okay, so that answers the question about do you need trekking poles in order to go on a through hike? As for the day 20 footage, uh, I got back up to Monarch Pass and I continued south, finishing up the collegiate west of the Colorado Trail, rejoining at the junction where the collegiate east and the collegiate west uh, merged at the southern part and I continued for I believe another 10 miles or so uh, on the Colorado Trail before I finished for the day. So hope you enjoy the footage and we'll see you soon. Hey good morning. Uh, it's another day of hiking. We're here in Salida and I've got a ride um, all scheduled going uh, back up to Monarch Pass. Uh, yesterday was such a short day, I didn't even <laughs> feel like filming it, but uh, just did a short hike and then got a ride into Salida, which I enjoyed yesterday. Really cool town. They've shut down the streets uh, just for COVID safety. And uh, it's pretty quiet. I'm hiking, I'm hiking. I'm walking a couple blocks to uh, a coffee shop. Hopefully it's open so I can get a coffee before getting a ride back up to Monarch Pass. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, we're here up at Monarch Pass, which we were up here the other day, but I didn't film it because <laughs> I had a, an immediate ride down, but uh, this pass is uh, you know, it's on the Continental Divide. It's above 11,000 feet, 
So there's this uh, kind of a highway pass here. Um, and any water on that side, many streams will go towards the Pacific. And over on that side, the other side of the store there, uh, that's the Monarch Crest store, but any water on that side will go towards the Atlantic. So they usually have a tramway here, which is kind of cool. It goes up to the top into the sun, but uh, up to the, uh, the top of this mountain peak right here, but uh, it's not working. Uh, but they say it's going to be starting uh, next May. So, okay, let's get back on the trail. We've got a six day stretch to Lake City. Yikes. All right, see you soon. That's where I was, and this is where I'm going. All right, made it to the end of the Collegiate West. We're looking down that way. And here you go, Collegiate West, Collegiate East. And we're gonna continue this way. We've got uh, about five miles to Marshall Pass. We're gonna do about another three or four after that. Um, but man, it is amazing at this junction. All right, on our way. All right, we made it to Marshall Pass. It's the 10 mile mark for today. And, uh, it's a little bit past two o'clock and around this road right here some vehicles coming in and uh how's it going how's it going hey <laughs> so we're uh got about four and a half miles to the next water source and we'll see see where we go from there A uh, storm right there, yeah. And uh, I'm trying to get to camp about two miles away. <laughs> Had to uh, realize that the place where I thought I was going to camp actually is just a, a little trickle of a stream. No campsites. It's on the side of a mountain. And uh, yeah, I have to dry camp tonight. So, but I gotta hurry because there's big storm and fortunately this trail goes off to the left on the other side of this ridge so maybe this uh, little mountain here pushes that rain up it starts to rain on that side and not on this side but I also have a heavy pack so just resupplied so I can't really <laughs> move that fast so whoo racing rainstorms right now we're racing against these rainstorms whoo all right, see you at camp. Okay, made it to camp. The sun is shining. Got my tent set up right here. Wow, uh, did over 18 miles a day. Uh, 
this has happened to me before where I plan a, a shorter route or shorter um, distance and then I end up going a little bit farther. Uh, today it was, um, it was about 14 and a half or 15 miles in. I thought that there would be camping near a stream, but then uh, it, it just wasn't great for camping. So you, you had to hike at least another um, two miles uh, for a campsite. Well, those were taken. So I just kept uh, hiking and uh, got to this little ridge over here. Uh, let's, let's walk over here. The sun is shining. It's just like the, the trail is just about, I don't know, 15, 20 yards off of where I'm, um, but the sun is setting over there and uh, I've got this great campsite. It's flat. <laughs> There's actually cell service here too. So we have to call some uh, family and friends. All right, long day, but uh, this is the first day of, of, of six days to Lake City. So it's gonna be a long stretch, uh, but we'll, uh, I'm hoping to push here these uh, first few days so that um, by the sixth day, it'll be almost a zero day, or at least a Nero, <laughs> close to a zero, near a zero, Nero. All right, uh, great day today. Great to leave Monarch Pass, get out of the Collegiate West, and um, looking forward to tomorrow. Okay.